Everybody likes convenience, which is why most of us have stopped in a convenience store to grab a drink or snack or a few necessities. Some convenience stores are also gas stations, while others are open 24 to 7, like 7-Eleven. Convenience stores are a big and growing U.S. industry, expanding 37% in the last decade. Starting a convenience store could be a great way for you to provide people with stuff they need and make a good living. But first you'll need to understand the process of launching a business. Luckily, this step-by-step -step guide is your one-stop shop for all the information you need to start a successful convenience store. How much does it cost to start a convenience store business? Startup costs for a convenience store range from $65,000 to $100,000. The costs include the store rental and preparation, inventory, equipment, and a labor and operating budget. You'll need a handful of items to successfully launch your convenience store business, including POS system, lottery machine, shelving units, and coolers. To successfully open and run a convenience store, it is crucial to use every strategy available to manage operations for profit. Here are 10 tips for increasing the chances of success. Step 1. Create a store business plan. Creating a business plan before starting up is important for managing margins and understanding the market, competitors, and customers. This will also be necessary for bank financing or buying a franchise. Step 2. Select a good location. Choosing a location with high foot traffic is critical for success. Use various methods to gauge traffic, such as counting customers or asking the landlord or other businesses. Additionally, the location should have good visibility, regular clients, ample parking, and be secure. However, it's important to consider that higher traffic usually means higher rent. Step 3. Focus on financial management. Proactively manage financials by studying individual product sales and margins, tweaking purchasing and pricing, noticing discrepancies in sales and inventory, experimenting with pricing and new items, and monitoring cash flow. Continuously look for ways to lower costs. Step 4. Reward customers. Building customer loyalty is crucial for convenience stores. This can be done by offering loyalty programs, discounts, or promotions. Step 5. Optimize product mix. Offering a mix of products that appeals to customers and generates the highest profit margin is important. This includes finding the right balance of high margin and high volume items, as well as understanding what products are popular and when. Step 6. Optimize store layout. Creating an efficient store layout with easy-to-find and easy-to-reach products can help attract customers and boost sales. Step 7. Keep the store clean and well-stocked. Maintaining a clean and well-stocked store can help attract customers and create a positive image. Step 8. Advertise and market the store. Advertising and marketing the store can help attract customers and increase sales. Step 9. Understand and comply with regulations. Understanding and complying with regulations, such as health and safety laws, can help avoid fines and penalties. Step 10. Continuously improve. Always be looking for ways to improve operations, such as by implementing new technologies or streamlining processes. This can help increase efficiency, reduce costs, and improve customer satisfaction. Starting your own business can be an exciting and fulfilling endeavor, and never before in history have there been more opportunities for individuals to do so. I can attest to this personally, as I have gone from having just one income source to having five within a year, and I have even more opportunities in the pipeline. However, it's important to note that success in business doesn't come easy, and there is no magic secret to achieving it. It requires hard work, dedication, and a willingness to constantly improve and adapt. To get started on creating your own business, there are a few key steps you should take. First, make a list of your strengths, interests, and areas of dislike. This will help you gain a better understanding of yourself and your capabilities, and will set the foundation for the next steps. Next, look for problems that people and businesses are facing. Instead of thinking about what you can offer, focus on the problem at hand and the results that people are looking for. This will give you a wealth of ideas for potential business opportunities. Once you have a list of people and businesses with problems, you can start creating the basis for your business and sales pitch. Consider the target audience for your business, the problem you're solving, and what sets your business apart from others in the same field. After that, it's time to start helping people out. This means reaching out to local businesses and offering your services, as well as calling businesses that may be a good fit for your offerings. Remember to focus on the value you can bring and the results you can achieve for them, rather than talking about yourself or your past experience. As you start to gain more clients and grow your business, you'll need to scale up and figure out the logistics of running a business, such as paperwork and administration. But the most important thing is to start with these steps and get that first client. Remember, there are no secrets to success, just hard work and a willingness to adapt and improve.
Launching a convenience store venture is a great opportunity and can be a profitable business as it addresses the increasing need for fast and easy access to everyday goods and services. These stores offer a variety of products and services such as groceries, snacks, beverages, lottery tickets, and more all under one roof, catering to customers who want quick and easy shopping options. They are usually situated in high-traffic areas such as busy streets, shopping centers, and residential areas. Studies show that the global convenience store market is expected to grow by 4.1% from this year to 2030 due to the rising population, urbanization, and demand for convenience and on-the-go products. Additionally, the growing popularity of online grocery shopping and home delivery services is also driving market growth. Additionally, starting a convenience store business is profitable with a low barrier to entry, considered a recession-proof business. The business model can be adapted to different locations and demographics, providing opportunities for niche markets and catering to specific customer needs. Furthermore, by offering a wide range of products and services, a convenience store can generate multiple streams of revenue, which can help to mitigate risks and ensure a stable income. In summary, starting a convenience store business is a very good idea as it addresses the growing demand for quick and easy access to essential goods and services. From understanding how to choose a lasting business idea to validating a solid business plan, knowing the legal stuff and getting the scoop on essential tech tools, I'll walk you through an eight-step guide to help organize your creative potential and give your dream of becoming the owner of a business the chance of becoming the next big thing. 1. From creative enthusiast to passionate researcher, if you can change people's lives, you have a business. There is a general opinion that a life-changing business idea or invention comes out of the blue. In reality, you've got to be continuously searching and passionately involved in the subject to get that smooth stroke of genius. And the closer to home the subject matter strikes, the greater your chances of nailing that masterpiece business idea. Consider an area of expertise you have a sincere personal interest in and are knowledgeable about. Improving an existing product or service so you want to buy it. Joining a local franchise, benefits include training and ongoing business support. However, avoid industries you have little knowledge of. 2. Compare and contrast. Creativity comes from a conflict of ideas. Based on your experience, research, and intuition, make a short list of your three winning choices and before rolling out the process further, draw up a pros and cons list for each. Think of it as a business plan draft touching on the critical questions you'll be asking yourself in detail later. Get the feel of your target audience and imagine how your products or services can fill a gap in the market. Remember, as an entrepreneur, what you're fighting for isn't only to get an attractive business idea out, it's about eventually feeling worthwhile about your investment, so try to be as honest with yourself as possible. Consider these questions for each shortlisted business idea. On a scale of 1 to 10, how interested and well-informed are you about the topic? What's your target audience and how can your business idea change their life? What's your budget? How does this scale to the average budget needed for similar products? What's your time frame for achieving profit? Do you need a small team or will you be able to handle everything by yourself? Will this business idea work best with a local or nationwide audience? What will you do if this product or service fails? Will you persevere, explore other opportunities, or abandon entrepreneurship? 3. Study your competitors. Learn before you launch, take time to build your plan and be patient. You've done the research, compared your strengths, and seem to have found just the right niche for your product. Now you can't wait to get it out to market. However, before launching headfirst into the legal, financial, and marketing whirlwind, you need to take a pause and understand who you'll be dealing with. In other words, you must not only study your industry competitors from the inside out, but view them as your best teachers at this point. Consider the top 10 competitors in your industry or niche. Focus on local or online businesses, depending on your own specifics. Study competitors' sales pitch, prices, online and social media presence, local advertising, etc. Word of mouth is still one of the most effective tools for business. Ask friends, co-workers, and neighbors why they use this or that product or service and why. 4. Conquer the formalities. Think strategically about the big picture of what you're accomplishing. Now that you're all set to take action, it's time to get the legal formalities over with. Online business laws are less complicated than regulations for storefronts or even home businesses. But even if you're starting a 100% online business, there are specific formalities involved. Once you know the exact product or service you want to offer and the type of organization you'll be, it's the right time to get professional advice. Before contacting a legal professional, consider, will you operate as a sole proprietorship, limited liability company, or corporation? Consider the specifics of each. Will you be an online business, home-based business, or storefront? Paperwork will vary depending on your choice. 
Even as a sole proprietor selling online, you'll need a tax ID because your products will be subject to state and federal taxation laws. 5. Write a business plan. Have a robust marketing and sales strategy in mind before launching your business. A concise business plan is like a lamp shedding light on those first challenging months of entrepreneurship, the credo of your new business, and your main strategy stated black on white. A business plan is the mandatory validation of any business idea that will help you look ahead and get financial backup. 6. Location, online and offline. Put yourself out there and show others what you're working on. Whether you'll be operating as an online business, a home business, or a local shop, now is the time to start building up the image around your business idea. Depending on your mode of operation, you'll want to explore leasing options in your neighborhood, set up a home office, or get your online store up and running. Consider, whichever business model you choose, your website is the face you present to the world. 2018 statistics show that 60% of users learn about new products through Instagram. Use this to your advantage and make sure your social media presence is actively working for you. 7. Get essential tools. Hustle the right way. It's not about doing more, it's about doing what you need to do. Even if you're used to the hustle and bustle, organizing your business in its first stages can seem more like creating a new world out of chaos. After getting a business website, you'll need some powerful but cost-effective tools that will help you prioritize time and finances, attract clients, and sustain customer relationships even on the go. Here are some essentials that will help your business idea get rolling. Business phone number from Mighty Call. One of the first things a new business needs is a business phone number. With the Mighty Call virtual phone system, you can choose a toll free or vanity number at no additional cost, automatically set up multiple extensions, get super simple web widgets allowing customers to call you straight from your website, receive voice to text features, and powerful call analytics. Brand logo from Hatchfall. There's no business without a recognizable logo and branding. If you're looking into alternatives to designer costs, Hatchful by Spotify offers free choices based on your industry, design theme, and needs. While a free solution can never be as unique as a custom-drawn logo, Hatchful comes as close as possible to creating the logo of your dreams with just a few playful clicks on its intuitive interface. Financial Software from Wave when all you need is a simple, transparent accounting tool to get your small business running smoothly, Wave is a great choice. It will help manage your accounting, invoicing, payroll, receipts, and much more, all for free. Email Marketing from MailChimp At 14 million customers and growing, there's no good reason for you not to join the world's largest email marketing platform. You can start free or $10 per month. Social Media Management from Hootsuite after getting your business page up on multiple social platforms, you'll need one convenient mobile app to keep yourself sane. With both free and low-cost plans, Hootsuite lets you link up to 35 social media platforms and 100 apps, schedule posts in advance, communicate with followers without leaving the app, and dig deep into analytics. Time Management from Todoist Time is our everything. With Todoist's free and super easy app, you'll never forget any part of your daily business plan, even with a hectic schedule. Schedule, prioritize, and delegate tasks to others on your team to always be the master of your time. 8. Never stop learning. The road to success is always under construction. Did you know that 46% of businesses fail not because of bad business ideas but due to business incompetence, or that another 30% close down because of a lack of managerial experience? All of these failures tend to happen within the first five years of entrepreneurship. The moral is simple enough, even the most creative business idea and detailed business plans need to be constantly updated with new knowledge. No matter how much you already know in your industry, you'll need to become a lifetime learner to succeed. Starting a business takes a lot of planning, dedication, and hard work, but with the right resources and support, it's achievable. Thank you for watching this video and learning about how to turn your dream into a reality. We believe in you and wish you all the best on your entrepreneurial journey.